Inshallah, today we will cover lesson 9 of our course. In the PDF, it will be lesson 22 on page 24, which is about a very simple rule called Idram Shafawi with Mim Sakin. And the surah to apply the rule will be surah 106, surah Quraysh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Heal My Tajweed, helping you read. So if you've stumbled on this video, this is lesson 9 of our unique course. I want you to go to the introduction and the previous lessons we've done to understand where we're getting these resources and also why we're following this specific syllabus in this way to learn one Tajweed rule per lesson per surah. So today this is a very simple rule. Let's open our PDF of your Tajweed made easy in... Uh, Page 24 is going to be lesson 22, but this is lesson 9 of our course. Now, Mim Sakin Idram Shafawi. Now, Mim Sakin means Mim with a sukun on top, and Idram Shafawi. Idram means to merge, merging of two letters or two sounds. And Shafawi, the word Shafawi refers to lips in Arabic. Okay? Now, we will cover Idram more in detail later, but this is the order of the appearance of this rule, which is in Surah Quraysh. This is why we're covering it right now. But don't worry, we're going to cover this in more detail, inshallah. Now, the book says to memorize this. I would rather you understand than memorize it, okay? Now, if after Mim Sakin you see the letter Mim, merge both memes and make Runna, nasal sound, and lengthen for one second. We've already covered nasal sound or runna, which was in lesson 1 in Surah An-Nas. So go back and refer to that video if you have forgotten. And we also said that one second of lengthening means two beats. Now, in lesson 1 in Surah An-Nas, we talked about the rule of Mushadda, on which there was a noon with a Shadda, and we said this also applies to Mim with a Shadda. Okay? Now, in this lesson, we're going to be able to practice the Mim with a Shadda. So take a look at these examples and get used to Idram Shafawi. So first word, Lakum, and then Ma. Now you have a Meme Sakin. After the Meme Sakin, you have another Meme. Usually it will be with a Haraka, Fatha, Kasra, or Dhamma. So when that happens, the Meme gets merged into the other Meme. So both Memes become one Meme. And you lengthen the Runna for two beats or one second. So Lakum. Ma becomes lakum ma. Now also do remember, let's not stretch the run of the meme onto the mad alif. So do not say lakum ma. It's lakum ma. Okay. Now two beats is enough for beginners. If you want to do more than two beats, it's fine to get used to it. All right. But do not do lakum ma with only one single beat of run. This is not correct. It's not a major mistake, but it's bad to read. Okay, now next word. Ilaykum mursaloon. Now here, the ra, remember we have covered this in lesson 5 in Surah Al-Nasr, I believe. The ra here is going to be heavy because of the Dhamma before it. So do remember to make the ra heavy. So, Ilaykum mursaloon. Because I'm pausing, otherwise it would be Ilaykum mursaloon. And the last word, innahum ma'akum, becomes innahum ma'akum. Okay? Now, inshallah, let's go to our Surah 106, which is Surah Quraysh, to apply this rule. Now, in this Surah, there is only two occasions with the Idram Shafawi. So, you have at'amahum and then min, so mim before mim. And then you have wa'amanahum min so meme before meme only two occasions but as usual do try and remember the previous rules we have covered and try to apply them and i'm going to go through them one at a time inshallah we're using today the house of quran app feel free to use any other app or a copy of the mushaf now e and la is mad asli two beats Ra here is going to be heavy. You say Ra Raish Li La Fi Quraish. Next I La Fi Him Naha bottom third ha Rihla Ri Ri Rihla Ra is going to be flat because of a kasra. I La Fi Him Rihla Tashita Iwasif. 
Now, shita e here, this is mad al muttasil, so four or five beats. We've covered this before. Next, fal yabudu. Common mistake here, many students say fal yabudu, as in a short vowel, but this is actually mad asli. Fal and let them worship, okay? Plural, them or they. Fal yabudu, rabb, ra is heavy here. Rabb hadha al bayt. Now, ha is bottom throat and the is tip of the tongue. البيت. Next, we have a mud al mun fasil uh, between two words. So, four beads, yeah? Alladhi ata'amahum. Now, ta here, qalqala, we've done this in lesson two, surah al falaq. Go back and revise this. Alladhi ata'amahum. Now here is the first example of the Idram Shafawi. Meme before a meme, two beats. And the next one is going to be here. Okay, so I'm going to read this whole thing, inshallah. Okay, so amanahum, meme before a meme. Merging two beats of Ghunna and we end up with Khawf. And between these two we do what's called Idhar and we haven't covered this yet but inshallah for later. Now I hope that was clear enough. Inshallah now let's listen to one of our brothers reciting this surah. Billahi minash Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Li Quraysh إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشِّتَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ Okay, Alhamdulillah. Now, do remember to find a Tajweed teacher to be able to correct your recitation. These lessons are just a guide and it will not replace a teacher. As usual, if there are any mistakes in this lesson, please get in touch with us so we can make the necessary corrections. In our next uh, lesson 10, is going to be Surah 105, which is going to be Surah Al-Fil. And the lesson to cover is going to be Ikhfa Shafawi Mim Sakin, which is lesson 21 on page 24. Jazakallahu khairan for staying this long. If you've just stumbled upon this, please go back and uh, revise your previous lessons, including watching our introduction to know where we're getting these resources and also the justification for this type of syllabus. Just to a quick reminder that I have also another channel called Heal My Tech where I teach people how to prepare tech and it's got nothing to do with Islam. So I would appreciate if you go check it out and if you find benefit from it, please consider subscribing to that channel to help me out. Now for this one, Heal My Tajweed, inshallah, we are going to continue with our lesson and I would really appreciate if you subscribe, leave me a comment and like and share this video. Also, we did do a video recently about the Punish a Muslim Day which went viral. And uh, I also did a follow-up video to that. So, inshallah, check them out. And let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you want me to cover. Bearing in mind, this is a mostly Tajweed channel. And we don't want to do things like drama, politics, and uh, other types of fiqh wa qida issues. Jazakallahu khairan for watching this. Anything bad that I have said is from myself and from shaitan. And anything good is from Allah. As usual, this was Ash from Hilma Tajweed helping you read. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.